Lucy and Ricky Ricardo may have been the main characters of the hit 1950s series I Love Lucy, but the show wouldn't have been nearly as successful without their landlords, Fred and Ethel Mertz. Portrayed by stars Vivian Vance and William Frawley, Fred and Ethel were beloved supporting characters on the series who were always bickering and causing trouble for Lucy and Ricky. Behind the scenes, this bickering was mirrored in the relationship between the stars portraying them. Join Facts First as we explore why Vivian Vance celebrated the death of William Frawley. By the time veteran vaudeville actor William Frawley was cast on the beloved 1950s series I Love Lucy, the actor had been working in the entertainment industry for decades and had developed a bit of a negative reputation for himself as both an alcoholic and a short-tempered curmudgeon. It was this curmudgeonly quality that made made the actor perfect to portray the character of Fred Mertz. Although I Love Lucy functioned predominantly as a showcase for the talents of real-life married couple Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, it's hard to deny the impact of characters Fred and Ethel Mertz upon the audience. While William played Fred, a much younger actress named Vivian Vance played Ethel Mertz. Although Vivian was over 20 years Williams Jr., makeup and homely clothing were used to make the actress look older and unattractive. Prior to taking on the role of Fred Mertz, William Frawley had fallen out with numerous figures in the entertainment industry due to his alcoholism and generally poor behavior on set. He would have a similar falling out on I Love Lucy over the course of that show's production, and that falling out was with on-screen wife Vivian Vance. Just as Fred and Ethel were bickering on the series, William and Vivian were always bickering on set. William Frawley was born February 26, 1887. During his childhood years, he sang in his church's choir. But this stint as a choir boy was the only predilection for performance that William exuded until later in his adulthood. Before turning his sights to vaudeville performing in his adult years, William worked as a stenographer and court reporter. Alongside his brother Paul, William decided to leave the business world behind and form a vaudeville duo. This duo found modest success and William decided his future was officially in showbiz. In 1914, William got married to a fellow vaudeville performer named Edna Louise Brote. After tying the knot, William and Edna worked together as a vaudeville duo for well over a decade only putting their professional relationship to an end as a result of their divorce in 1927. By that point, William Frawley had already been working as a performer for a few decades. Soon after divorcing his first wife, William went on to make his debut as a Broadway performer. Now forced to work with other people besides his wife and his brother, it was here that William's bad behavior first started to become noticeable. In 1928, William was performing in a production called She's My Baby, which featured notable performer Clifton Webb. William and Clifton took to disliking each other on the set. When William told Clifton he better watch his mouth or he'd get punched, Clifton refused. William made good on his promise and was subsequently fired from the role. Still, William went on to find work over the following years, including in film. In the 40s, Frawley showed up in Hollywood and began acting in feature films. Some of the many notable films he performed in, some of the many notable films he was in over the course of that decade were Going My Way and Miracle on 34th Street. Both films went on to become classics, though they likely would have been major successes with or without William Frawley. In 1947, William appeared alongside Charlie Chaplin in Monsieur Verdu. William also found himself routinely cast in movies featuring the beloved comedic duo Abbott and Costello, but his personal life was still plagued by alcoholism. His increasingly rampant alcoholism often bled into his professional life, causing him to clash with other stars on set. By the 50s, it seemed there was little room in the industry for the aging performer. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for more about William Frawley and Vivian Vance. Frawley was in his 60s when he received the role of Fred Mertz. He had actively campaigned for the role after hearing about the project. It was Desi who was in charge of casting the characters of Fred and Ethel. Desi knew of William, both in terms of his negative reputation and his talent for playing a vaudevillian curmudgeon. Although he was initially hesitant to hire him to play the role, Desi later claimed the idea grew on him the more he pictured the actor on screen. When it was time for Desi to make his final decision, he decided it needed to be William Frawley. But the offer came with a firm stipulation that William needed to behave himself on set. In return, William demanded he needed to get time off of the series in the event that the New York Yankees played in the World Series. 
After several decades in the entertainment industry, William finally received the role of a lifetime with Fred Mertz. One might think the actor would have been incredibly grateful, but it seems he carried over much of his sour attitude from the past onto set. While William treated stars Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz with the utmost respect, he could always be found verbally abusing his on-screen wife, played by Vivian Vance. Although Vance remained professional over the course of the show, William's behavior on set made it so she quickly realized she was not a big fan of the performer. As the show progressed, Vivian became as verbally abusive towards William as he was to her, and the stars' relationship officially began to mirror that of the characters they played. When I Love Lucy ended and the producers began talking about a potential spinoff, focusing on the characters of Fred and Ethel, Vivian wasn't having any of it. The actress had carried out her tenure on the aforementioned series out of respect for Lucille and Desi, but had no interest in continuing to perform in any capacity alongside William. Thanks to the success of I Love Lucy, William Frawley continued to find success in the entertainment industry after the series ended. He could be found performing on the series My Three Sons in a similar role to Fred Mertz. But his rampant alcoholism was taking its toll on his health, and it's been rumored the actor had to have a crew member poke him in the foot with a stick to keep him awake on set. Eventually, his health got so bad he could no longer pass his health insurance exam, meaning he had to be let go from the series. Following this, he went on to pass away in March of 1966, dying of a heart attack at 79. Unlike William Frawley, Vivian Vance didn't campaign for her role on I Love Lucy. She was cast in the series out of desperation after Desi continually failed to think of anyone to play the part. Desi had found himself at his wit's end when a director recommended Vivian to him. He hired her after watching her perform for only a few minutes, believing she was perfect. Although Vivian certainly played the part right, she didn't look it. Being over 20 years younger than William, Vivian was much more attractive and had to be done up in makeup and homely clothing to fit the bill to portray his on-screen wife. This made both actors angry. It has been said that Vivian Vance had to go to therapy every morning before filming I Love Lucy, not only because of William's verbal abuse, but also because she didn't enjoy having to play the ugly sidekick to Lucille Ball's main character. Although the entire production of the series as run was likely miserable for the actress, Vivian Vance continued performing as Ethel Mertz until I Love Lucy's End, and continued working with Lucille Ball afterwards. Similarly, William Frawley maintained a particularly positive relationship with Desi, and Desi seems to have been one of the few people who mourned William upon his passing. In response to news of William's heart attack, Desi took out a newspaper ad in memory of his dear friend. Meanwhile, Vivian Vance reportedly broke out the champagne. Now it's time to hear from you. Which part of this story was most surprising to you? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.